So in this video, we're going to do the Tanker Non-Alcoholic Sauna Session Beer Review. Now we're here in Estonia and we've got to try one of the non-alcoholic beers. This is the Tanker. It's an Estonian brewery and it is inspired by the sauna. What do you know about this brewery? I know they were founded in 2014 here in Tallinn and they've moved locations. So now they have a much bigger brewing mm. location. And their calling card is this birch ale. Specifically, the alcoholic version is their best seller. That comes in at 4.7% alcohol by volume. This one comes in at less than 0.5, mm. but we still get the nice uh, sauna inspired vibes. I mean, there's nothing more Estonian than a sauna. They've got a sauna everywhere. And of course, you've got a sauna inspired beer. Um, why is the sauna inspired? What's a birch? Birch whisk, yeah. yeah. So this beer is brewed with birch whisks, which if you haven't been to a sauna, they sometimes will have this kind of broom thing that they beat you with. <laughs> it sounds very violent, but the idea is that it's supposed to like help the the essential oils and right. fuse into your skin. So they use the same thing to make the beer, minus the sweat, I hope. Right, because I, I, what I'm wondering right now when I when I saw a name like Sauna Session is, is my beer going to taste like my sweat? Which I I'm mean, for me, <laughs> I thought maybe it was super refreshing because you right, sweat a bunch. Right, yeah. Maybe it has electrolytes or something. I don't right, know. Okay. Well, let's hope so because I really don't want it to, you know, to taste like sweat. Mm. Um, but I've got to say, before we crack this open, Estonian beers have just been really just kind of mind blowing or exciting at least with the packaging. <laughs> mm, yeah. um, I'm quite excited, it looks quite good. You have some sauna charcoal there. Yeah. You have a lady enjoying herself, a couple yeah. ladies. <laughs> so let's go ahead and crack this one open. And obviously we're in an Airbnb now we're traveling, so don't mind the wine uh, glass here. We do not recommend you drinking from a wine glass, but this is how we drink it here while we're traveling. So you've got a nice, yeah, like a nice um, one finger um, foam hit, white foam hit. It's not very impressive. It's um, a bit opaque. Yeah, it's quite hazy, isn't it? Uh, there's some bubbles, I would say like low to medium amount of carbonation. Yeah, this is the, the color. It's going to be about like, what is this like yellow? Yeah, just very, just classic yellow. Yeah, like a pineapple yellow. It's, you're right, the bubbles are just not very yeah. lively. Um, Head's almost gone too. Yeah, hate retention is not as good as, what's the other brand? Pohala, which is the mm -hmm. other Estonian um, brewery. They're brews on alcoholic beers. Now, let's go ahead and smell this one. Now, have you smelled birch before? No. Oh. I have not even been in a sauna before, so... But it's a tree as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Definitely not, then. It does not smell like a birch tree. It doesn't smell like a sauna. It does smell quite malty. There's mm -hmm. that, that maltiness to it, but it doesn't smell greeny. It, um... I want to say this kind of... The fruitiness. Herbal. Yeah. yeah. The herbal. Yeah, I agree with that. So there's this sour herbalness that I'm mm -hmm. smelling. <laughs> Lovely. Not bad though, just kind of funky. How do I describe this? Like almost a bit medicinal, like a touch of citrus maybe. Yeah, a touch of citrus orange. I'm trying to get it from this pen. It's not very strong here. Mm -hmm. um, I think you probably get the strongest one there because we put most of it inside. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so it's a uh, malty uh, bowl, some citrus orange. Mm -hmm. I can't, yeah, it's not really sweet. It's more like a sour. Yeah. It's a sour kind of um, nose to it. Let's go ahead and try it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, wow. It is unlike anything I've ever drank before. <laughs> First thought, I don't hate it. It's very interesting. It, it has this taste of herbal, like wood. Perfect. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, is that the bird? <laughs> it's like this herbal... Um... Is it a bit medicinal? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a bit medicinal, herbal kind of... Mm -hmm. 
it's Please. lingering in my mouth and the longer it it's is. there the less i like it it reminds me of like chinese album medicine mm -hmm. to be honest and then there's the hot bitterness as well it's a bit it's a bit strong and lingering mm -hmm. and the uh the sweetness from from the easters are quite it's quite uh strong as well let's let's see the carbonation is definitely missing for me um it feels a bit flat body's a bit watery yeah it's a bit thin yeah not not very full i mean it's not so thin that you feel like you're drinking just hop and water yeah but i just can't get over the medicinal yeah water, the it's, flavor it's a lot it's a very very unique flavor probably the most unique tasting beer that i've had yeah. thus far i don't even know how to describe it it feels like wood it tastes like wood and herbs it's like you're licking a birch tree it's like i'm licking the walls of a sauna yeah, because, you know, you walk into a sauna, it does have that kind of, like, smell to it. I don't know what it is. If it's humidity, wood, birch, it's all of that, but in a flavor. What about the sweetness? Do you think it's, um... We have to keep drinking it because we can't figure it out. Yeah, like, like, do you find the sweetness to be fine? Is it is it a bit cloying? Is it a bit sticky? I could do with more sweetness. I think that might balance out the wackier flavors uh I, I i think it's too sweet for my mind maybe just this, this amount of sweetness is fine it does feel a bit um it does feel a bit sticky like the sweetness for me it kind of lingers along with the hot bitterness and the weird medicinal taste there's a lot going on here mm -hmm. it's not bad that said though it's very cohesive it's not like yeah. all these random right. discordant notes but it's just like really hard to put your finger on it's not bad it's not bad but it's just would I drink it again? I don't know. I might. I might. But I can't imagine this beer being good when it's not chilled. Mm, absolutely. Because so, the taste. Woof. Hot tip. Don't take it into the sauna. Drink it <laughs> after you're done. <laughs> Alright, so out of five stars, what would you give it? Uh, okay. I'll preface my rating by saying this feels like great idea, poor execution. Oh. So I'm going to give it a three. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of feel like it's a two and a half or three kind of beer. It's not my favorite. It's got some kind of lingering weird note to it. I mean, just from the first taste, it's really kind of weird. But I can feel like it's a craft brewery. So I feel the craftsmanship behind it. Yeah. It feels uh, worked on. Like it's not a supermarket beer. It's much more complex than that. Which ironically, it is a supermarket beer. Well, That's where we got it. It might have started off as a craft beer brewery, but certainly found its way into the supermarket. That's to but say, though, imagine. it's yeah, it's more complex than a lot of other beers, but it's just maybe we just don't like it. Maybe we don't have the palate for it. Yeah, maybe it's too Nordic for me. <laughs> Never. So that's all we have for you today in this review. If you enjoyed this non-alcoholic beer review, go check out our other reviews or go visit us on our website at oneclubsobo.com. Cheers.